Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's coding vlog, I'm working on some features for my startup and I figured I'd take you guys with me. If you're new here, I'm building Clava, Canada's first student club management platform. Clava helps student clubs manage their members, host events, and allow students to discover and explore what's happening on campus. Right now, I'm focused on implementing a live chat messaging feature that lets students message clubs directly through the platform. To make this work, we set up our own AWS EC2 server, which handles all the WebSocket connections. Our platform is hosted on Vercel, which runs backend code using AWS Lambda functions. This is known as serverless architecture, where functions are executed only when needed. That worked great in the early days, especially as a startup, because you only have to pay when the app is being used. But as we grow, we need more persistent infrastructure, specifically something that can manage continuous WebSocket connections. That's because WebSockets require a constant, always-on connection between the client and the server, and serverless platforms like Vercel just aren't built for that. So we launched our own AWS EC2 instance to maintain that connection. Setting up the EC2 server was a learning experience in itself, and I had to deal with network configuration, security permissions, DNS settings, and much more. I might actually make a separate video walking through that setup. Now, this EC2 server stays online 24 seven and is responsible for handling all live chat messages. Every time a user opens a chat, their browser connects to the EC2 server using a socket, and that connection lets them send and receive messages in real time. Here's how messaging works on Clava. When a student sends a message to a club, all members of that club who are configured to receive messages will get it and can reply. This allows for smooth, real-time communication between students and clubs, which is super important for things like event planning and onboarding new members. We're using Socket.io on both the front end and back end. It's a popular WebSocket library that simplifies a lot of the lower level connection logic. When a user sends a message, it's broadcasted to the correct chat thread so that everyone sees it instantly. Right now, I'm testing the chat feature using multiple browser windows and accounts to simulate real conversations. The front end is still a skeleton. I'm mostly focused on getting the back end and server logic solid before working on the UI. To make sure only authenticated users can send and receive messages, we use JWT tokens during the socket connection handshake. The server verifies the token before accepting the connection, which helps prevent unauthorized access or spam. You might be wondering, why not just use a backend as a service, like Firebase? We definitely considered it, but we wanted full control over how messaging works and the flexibility to scale it in the future. This approach gives us more ownership and opens the door to adding more microservices as the platform evolves. That's it for today's update. I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes look at what I've been working on. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to cover next. Maybe a full walkthrough of the EC2 setup or how we'll handle scaling and load balancing in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.